Uh, to just end this time of stewardship, we've asked uh, the Reverend David Potter to just make a few remarks as our, our closer for the stewardship season. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, David. Thank you, Father Andrew. <laughs> I noticed he made a change from the first service. He had said at the first service that he'd give you time to write, and I was more than willing to give you that time <laughs> by speaking, and he edited that out. <laughs> so write faster. <laughs> I'd like you to consider for a moment why you're here. I mean here, in this space, at this time, or, or if you're watching the worship service online. You could be anywhere other than here. You could be at another church. You could be in front of the TV. You could be at the beach. It's a nice day for that. You could be in bed, but you chose here. That is, unless you're like a teenage me where you didn't really have a choice, but for the rest of you. But to everyone else, why are you here? Everyone's got a different story, a different reason why they're here. I know why I am. Carl told my husband, you need to come with me to St. Gregory's. And he told him what he had found here. And David went, and then he said to me, you need to come with me to St. Gregory's. <laughs> and I found welcome. And I found my heart healed because it had been battered and beaten and bruised. And I found my faith refreshed. That was my reason. That's my reason. And it, it's continued to resonate with me how good it's been to be here and to be a part of here. There's a question the congregations get asked sometimes to ask themselves, if St. Gregory ceased to exist, would anyone notice? <laughs> would anyone notice if St. Gregory's just disappeared? Anyone in Boca? Anyone in Haiti? anyone anywhere else. It's not just about have we made a difference, but who would make the difference if we weren't here? Mm. 70 years ago, there were people who realized that a faithful, vibrant, welcoming, transforming congregation needed to exist. And some gave out of their abundance, some gave out of their scarcity. They gave land, money, food, sweat, they gave from what they had been given. As St. Paul wrote, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. Mm. Those who came before us planted and others watered. Mm. And God has been making us, the people of St. Gregory's, grow. Which brings us to this. <laughs> Last week, our sister Elizabeth, where are you? You used an F word, <laughs> fly. I know where your mind went. She remind us, reminded us that we are meant to fly. And what we need to do in order to fly is another F word, flow. Have you ever used one of these? Yes. Yeah. Well, you take this, in case you haven't, you take this and you hook it up to the source of water and the water's there waiting to be tapped and you bring the hose along to where the water's needed and you go back to the spigot and you turn it on and you go back to grab the other end and water and nothing. <laughs> so you check the nozzle, well, the nozzle's fine, just a dribble. So now you get to check over the hose all along the way and there it is, a kink. <laughs> Hardly noticeable, but enough to stop the flow. Now let's be honest, there, because of that, there's nothing wrong with the source. Actually, there's nothing wrong with the, the hose, but something has caused a kink, just enough to stop the flow, or at least to slow it down. <laughs> Ties into your sermon, doesn't it? It yeah. does. Glad we didn't talk that out. That way it just has to be coincidence. There are plenty of things that can cause a kink in us. There are changes in our lives. How and what we give may also have to change. 
but we do not have to let it interrupt the flow of God's generosity of grace and mercy, compassion, peace, and joy. God continues to provide us with ways for God to flow through us. Case in point, we're here. We're not there, because that's under renovation. But it did not stop us from gathering together for worship and praise and even find some new blessings we didn't know were going to be there. We, the people of St. Gregory's, are rooted in abundance, and for that we can be grateful. And if there's anything getting in our way, God can remove it. God can remove it so that bodies may continue to be fed, that hearts may be fed, that minds may be fed, that all may be fed with living water. Let us pray. Lord, keep me an unkinked hose <laughs> through which you can flow. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you.